And just like that, we're back for video number two. How you doing YouTube? My name's Nate Rocco, back for another one. If you watched my first video, thank you. If you haven't already, that'll be in the description. It's a little intro to my channel, so if you wanna know who I am and more of what I do, go check that out. But in this video, I'm gonna be going over my top 10 photos of last year, 2019. We just entered 2020, so whole new year of making video, taking photos. Um, and I'd like to reflect on some of the photos that I took last year, I wrote down a few notes, and I'm gonna go over each photo and why I like them and when I took them and a little bit of backstory um, about why I like them so much. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around, we're gonna get into it. All right, so this first shot is from actually after a photo shoot that I just wrapped up. I noticed that there was a skate park, so I jumped in and I started following these two kids that were going back and forth, two friends. They were totally cool with me taking photos of them, so I just continued to follow them. And I was shooting on my wide angle lens. It's 11 to 20 uh, Tokina lens for my Canon 80D. And I got this cool shot of one of the friends watching his other buddy um, trick up the stairs and I thought it was a cool dynamic because he was watching him and the contrast of the black and white looks really cool. I love how um, how big the, the highway looks above and um, yeah, I think it kind of captures the skate park essence of um, you know, trying and trying again. So this next photo was taken in a photo shoot I did as an engagement shoot for my friends Mark and Brittany. Mark was proposing to her and it was totally a surprise. So really, really fun experience. But I like this photo a lot for a few reasons. One, I think the framing is really cool. I framed it around this green bush that really, really stands out and they're blue and had the contrast between the blue and the green stand out. And you can see her ring really, really well. I didn't frame their heads or anything else. It's just them holding on to each other, and I think that looks really cool. Um, it was inside the courtyard of the Boston Public Library, so it was totally empty and uh, made for a great shot. This next shot is from actually the first roll of film I shot on my new, or it was new then, 35 millimeter camera. I picked it up at a thrift shop with my cousin Kevin up in Vermont, and we went out shooting that same day, grabbed a couple rolls of Fuji film, and I shot this picture um, in Burlington, I believe, and it's just a shot of a tree with some um, recently bloomed flowers. Super soft, super dreamy, the focus is nice, um, beautiful lighting, and it just came out really, really well. It's one of my uh, first shots I ever took on there, and it came out great. That whole roll was actually pretty solid, so love this one. So this shot, just like the last one, was shot in Vermont, just at a different time. This was in summer, right at the end, coming into fall. As you can see, all the foliage was going crazy. And I was on my way with my cousin to have a weekend camping trip up in Vermont. And I caught this red car coming around this windy road. I love the way it's framed because he's right in the center. There's no blur on the car at all. You can see the road sign on the left, that stands out nice. The white line comes and frames it. And I love in the bottom right corner how the guardrail kind of comes right around the corner starting right in the um, bottom right hand corner of the frame. Just love this photo, everything about it is, um, is great. So this next photo is kind of different. Um, I was out with a bunch of friends shooting. We had a drone up in the air. We're just exploring some abandoned area out in Massachusetts. And I caught this shot right at the end of the day when the sun was setting of my buddy Chris. Um, I love this picture for a lot of reasons. The focus is really good. It's all on him where the background is totally blurred. Um, the colors in it are great. I like the orange behind him. And it was a really, really cold day, if you ask anybody that was there. And he's he's all zipped up. You can see it in his eyes. He's just trying to maintain that heat. And uh, yeah, I just, I just love this photo. So this shot is a big one for me. I had stared at this golf sign for months and months and months. It was near uh, where I used to work, my old office, and it was at this old gas station, and this sign must have been there for I don't know how long, but I always, always wanted to shoot it, and I shot it a few times just on its own, and it didn't really speak to the essence of like how cool I thought it was, and one day I go walking down the street to get a bagel, and I find this Pontiac GTO just sitting outside, I was like, perfect, I'll take this. It had just rained, cold, cold day, had my camera on me, shot a couple pictures of this, instantly knew it was gonna be black and white because it was such a gray day. And um, I just love the way it came out. The back hood has little drizzles of rain on it. The black, um, the black of the, the um, whatever that top part is called, that little cover is um, just so deep and intense. The trees coming out from behind it. Um, I just love this photo. It's, uh, it was one that was a long time in the making. 
So this photo is a special one. It was at a Glitch Mob show. They're an EDM uh, group that uh, that I've been listening to for quite a long time. And I had the opportunity to tag along with my buddy Ryan, who was shooting the show. He said, hey, if you want to tag along, come by. Um, and got in there, shot the whole show, ended up meeting the guys. They're really, really cool. And I got this shot during a crazy light show. And I'm really pumped on it because I got it right when everything was totally black. and the background was just one color, which totally silhouettes them as well as everybody in the crowd. There's no cell phones, which is crazy. And um, yeah, I just I just think the tone of this is like so so like concert esque. And um, I was like I was shooting within the crowd, which was really cool. And uh, yeah, I just really like this photo. Kind of sticking within the theme of concerts, I shot this much smaller show in a little pub out in Lowell, Massachusetts for um, a band of a bunch of buddies I know called the Shirts and Shoes. If you like kind of alternative rock and um, 90s rock, go check them out. I'll put their uh, Spotify link in the description. But this was a cool shot I got of their guitarist um, who was stepping on his pedal board, adjusting something there. I love the colors in the pedal board. I love um, how wide the angle is. Again, I shot it on my 11 to 20 wide angle. And I was shooting, I believe with flash, they gave me full range of uh, whenever and however I wanted to shoot this, which was really cool. And um, I just love how low I got. I love that you can see the drummer in the background, the lights on the ceiling. And um, I just, I don't know, that underfoot kind of angle was just, uh, it was really, really cool. I was pumped on this one. So this photo here was taken on my 35 millimeter camera over the summer. My girlfriend and I went to the beach and um, just relaxing on a sunny day. You can tell it's so sunny by how overexposed it is. And that's all right. I wanted to take a second to explain why sometimes your favorite photos don't need to be the best photos. They can be overexposed. They can be a bit grainy, um, but there's still value in, I think, the shots that you take no matter if your settings were perfect or not. I like a lot of things about this photo. I think I love how relaxed she uh, looks. You can tell how sunny it is. I like that you can read the words on her bracelet. I think that's kind of cool. And most importantly, it's somebody that I love doing something that she loves. She loves to read and I captured that moment and I remember that moment. So yeah, definitely one of my favorites. And finally, the last one again is a shot I took in Vermont. Surprise, surprise, if you haven't been able to tell already, I like shooting up in Vermont while I'm there. So this one, I originally saw a big old church on the side of the road and I was like, yo, let's stop me and my cousin were out shooting once again and I got distracted very quickly by this car sitting in the middle of the overgrown grass. I love the green license plate. I love the green, uh, the grass there that it's sitting in. I love the shadow under it that I captured. I love the old Ford lettering and everything behind it. Um, just overall a great photo. Things like this catch my eye. And um, I think the format that it was taken on in 35 millimeter and getting it uh, scanned. I didn't even, I scanned it myself and uh, it's probably lesser quality because of that, but um, still a cool photo and glad I was able to share it. Okay, so that'll do it. Those are my top 10 photos of 2019. I tried to be as brief as possible, but there's a lot I like about these photos. They are my favorite, so um, spare me. I'm sure this video um, is getting close to, if not a little bit over 10 minutes. I'll throw some music in the background and I'll hopefully display these pictures nicely for you. Um, if you like this kind of style of me displaying more videos or more photos like this, let me know. I'm going to do a lot more videos like this in the future. And yeah, we're on to 2020. So I hope to take a lot more photos on both my 35 mil and my Canon 80D and whatever else I can get my hands on. Hopefully a GoPro or something like that this year, maybe a drone. So um, yeah, video number two, let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, throw me a comment, follow me on Instagram. I'll put that at the end. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos like this. I got a light, my lighting should be better. So let me know if that looks good. Um, but that'll do it for today. Thank you guys for watching and uh, catch you in the next one.